क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज द परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम ए ऑन साइड बी सी ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इंटरसेक्ट बी सी एट डी सच दैट डी बी इक्वल टू थ्री सी डी एज शोन इन दिस फिगर सो ऑब्जर्व दिस फिगर केयरफुली फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ए फ्रॉम द वर्टिक्स ए परपेंडिकुलर ए डी इज ड्रॉप्ड ऑन टू बी सी सच दैट डी बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री सी डी सो दिस सेगमेंट डी बी इज इक्वल टू थ्राइस ऑफ दिस सेगमेंट सी डी सो लेट्स राइट दिस गिवन फैक्ट डी बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री टाइम्स सी डी वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ट्वाइस ऑफ ए बी स्क्वायर ए बी इज दिस सेगमेंट इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस ऑफ ए सी स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर ए सी इज दिस सेगमेंट एंड बी सी इज ऑफ कोर्स द थर्ड साइड ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो वी हैव टू प्रूव दिस इक्वालिटी एंड टू डू दिस वी विल अप्लाई द पाइथागोरस थियोरम to the two right angled triangles that you see in the figure what are those two right angled triangles one triangle is abd and the other triangle is acd so let me highlight both triangles for you so triangle abd is this triangle we can apply the pythagoras theorem to this triangle and similarly triangle acd is this triangle on the left side and we can apply the pythagoras theorem to this triangle also because both triangles are right angled triangles okay so let's do that now in triangle abd what will we get if we apply the pythagoras theorem so ab square ab is the hypotenuse so ab square will be equal to ad square plus bd square so this is what we will get uh, from triangle abd then from triangle acd if we apply the pythagoras theorem what will we get so in this triangle acd ac is the hypotenuse so ac square will be equal to ad square plus cd square okay now what we want is ab square on the left side and ac square on the right side so let's do one thing let's subtract these two equations that we have written so let's call this equation 1 let's call this equation 2 so how do we how did i decide that we should subtract it well in on the right side we have ad square and ed square but in the final relation we have no ed square term so by subtracting we can get rid of the um, ed square terms in the two equations okay so i am going to do 1 minus 2 so on the left side i will get ab square minus ac square and on the right side i will get so the ad square terms will cancel by 1 minus 2 so i will get bd square minus cd square now to calculate bd square minus cd square let's write both of these uh segments bd and cd in terms of bc how can we do that well db is thrice of cd and db plus cd is equal to the entire segment bc so this tells us that db will be equal to 3/4 of bc and cd will be equal to 1/4 of bc so make sure that you understand how i have done this because db is thrice of cd and because db plus cd is uh, bc we can say that db will be 3/4 of bc and cd will be 1/4 of bc okay so now now let's on the right hand side let's write bd and cd in terms of uh, bc so this will give us bd square instead of bd square we write 3/4 bc whole square minus instead of cd let's write 1/4 bc so 1/4 bc whole square okay so what do we get now so we get 9 by 16 bc square minus 1 by 16 bc square so 9 by 16 this fraction minus 1 by 16 is 8 by 16 is which is 1 by 2 so this basically gives us bc square by 2 or half bc square so from here we get ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square by 2 and now if you multiply 2 on both sides we will get 2ab square is equal to 2ac square plus bc square correct and if you observe the problem statement this is what we had to prove on the left side we had 2ab square on the right side 
uh, we wanted to get to AC square plus BC square. So this completes our proof for question number 14. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.